Hi, my name is Nick Schartz. I am from Santa Ana, California in Orange County. Um, I spent my first year with the Culture Project as a missionary this past year in San Francisco. Uh, why I joined the Culture Project? I joined the Culture Project uh, because I just had a longing in my heart to do mission. Um, I felt in my college years, um, and especially for a few years, that, um, that I was being called to give my life to some sort of missionary work. And the Lord quite literally put the Culture Project in my lap. Um, after having applied with a, a, a different missionary organization and being rejected by them, I literally ran into the Culture Project um, and that began my whole process and that's kind of when I knew. Um, but as far as the mission goes, it's so much deeper than that for me. Um, I just know that in my own life and in the lives of many of my friends in college, um, all of us trying to grow in our faith, um, especially with a lot of my male friends, we found that there is just deep wounds. Um, especially I think big for us was the issues of pornography and just growing with these men in our faith and walking with each other and trying to overcome our struggles. Um, I found that the Culture Project was the perfect mission to continue to help um, our culture heal. And just a couple glory stories from this past year in San Francisco. Uh, a lot of our speaking was done virtually this year and you know that might seem scary, different, whatnot, but we made the best of it and the Lord definitely worked through it. I can't tell how many times we had contacts after our virtual talks tell us that our talks were the times that their students have been the most engaged since they had started school again, since they had started uh, confirmation programs again. Um, and so just to see that these kids, especially in this past year, have been really craving human interaction and to come in and to share this message of joy and hope, um, of sharing with them how they can live their lives to the fullest, definitely saw that impact. Um, and one other, though, just very encouraging story was actually the last talk that we gave as a team. And um, we drove out to this parish, and it was one of our only in-person talks. And I just remember that these young boys, some of them as young probably as like 12, and some of them all the way up to the age of maybe 15. Um, and I gave our sexual integrity talk and talked to them about pornography. And to see how so many of them knew that they like had a battle to fight, um, how many of them understood the problems of it already, um, and how excited they were to just go out and help others around them um, and to help them you know, to get this like, evil thing out of their life um, and to really live a life to the fullest that they were created for.